Hey, what's going on, everyone? <laughs> Welcome to Eco Smackdown number one, where we are going to be smacking down some stores. Not all of them, some of them are going to be good. We got Josh, we got Matt here. They're both part of the Ecom Freedom team. This is actually the first appearance of Josh, of Matt, uh, on the YouTube channel. So welcome, guys. Yo, thank you. Hello. Both very successful sellers. Actually, Matt is one of my closest friends from long, long time ago. And he's been in e-commerce just as long as I have. Many stores, many successful stores. And now we're working together on a new store that we are actually going to show uh, on YouTube and as well in Ecom Freedom. And also, Josh has been a student uh, from Shopify Freedom uh, like a year ago or something like that now. So he used that knowledge and then he actually improved on it too. He invented a product, he patented a product, and uh, he's absolutely killing it. So we are gonna be smacking down some stores, WWE style. I guess g giving like a pass or a fail, a yes or a no. We're gonna also be giving some constructive criticism. And if the store is bad, it is going to get smacked down. So let's go ahead and get started. I took some submissions on my Instagram and on my YouTube a few days ago. We got a beautiful list. I think we have like 50 stores, probably not gonna go through all of them. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so who's ready for the first store? You guys ready? Yeah, let's go. I'm ready. Let's okay. do it. All right, I'm gonna hit Command V right now. We're gonna paste the store. Pillowsocks.com. Oh god. <laughs> no oh, man, this cannot be real. Ah, it's what not <laughs> No no no. Bro, the see. It's not that bad. No, the store looks terrible. Dude, Wait, look what? at the logo. What's the product? I don't really understand what the, what the product it's is. It's just socks. They just socks. No, you know what it is? It's like bunion socks for women. Where's okay. the sales page? Like okay. Arch. Go back. Okay, let's go to catalog. Oh what the Yo, I think they just socks. No, no, no. Look, it says arch support sponge cushion liner fits shoe size five to seven. <laughs> I think so, I think this is by far got to be the most complicated. Like, why not just name it like pillow socks? Yeah, I can't wear. If the that's cloth. like the name of the brand, and, and plus the logo just looks like. So pillow socks, a, guys. Wait a second. Let's yeah. give it a chance. So pillow, so pillow socks is a company committed to comfort, value, and beautiful products. Our company was born out of a dream to offer 3D arch support socks. Who, who dreams of that? <laughs> who dreams of offering 3D arch support socks? I just don't get like what else it would be. It can't be 2D. <laughs> okay, let's click on the first one. Oh, man. We're going down the rabbit hole. There's nothing, it's just pictures. Oh, you suck, suck in quotation marks. I just don't get why there's so many colors. You know what I, I, every time I, anytime I see this hospital green color, I want to vomit. I hate this color. Like, I hate it. I don't know about you guys, but it's. Yeah, it's like a cheap knockoff of the Tiffany and Coke. Oh, check this, check this out. Check this, check this lifestyle photo out. Oh, this doesn't even show the stocks though. Okay. I think it's trying to show that it's like no, that there's like no show. <laughs> All right, let's give it a rating. Matt, how many Batista bombs are you going to give it? I'm going to have to give this way. Are you saying Batista bombs are good or bad? I think the more Batista bombs, the worse your store. I'm going to have to give this like seven Batista bombs. Okay. Josh, what do you think? Yeah, I'd, I'd probably give it like a 10, to be honest. 10 Batista bombs. Yeah, 10. Like, Wait, can yeah. we give them like a little bit of constructive criticism? I mean, like the colors, sure. first of all, the colors are all over the place. I mm. hate the font. Pretty okay, I have a question too. for the store owner. Who made this logo? It's yeah, that's really, a really bad. Good question. It's really bad. But you know what? What what the, the thing is though is like, I can see they tried, but also there's like one out of ten effort here. Maybe I'm wrong, but <laughs> look at this. Yeah, if you well, said, read the top. Read the top. If you if sign, sign up. <laughs> Read it. <laughs> if you sign up for my newsletter, at the bottom of this page, you'll receive 20% of your entire order. Who's signing yeah, up? I'm putting down my email. Doing this? How many Batista bombs are you giving this? I'm giving this 12 Batista bombs. 12 Batista bombs? <laughs> 12 Batista bombs. <laughs> Out of the scale of Batista bombs, I'm giving you 12 Batista bombs. People aren't going to get the reference if they don't watch WWE. That's okay. Okay, next door. Okay. Okay, okay yeah. Yo. Yeah, this is nice. Nice, much better. Yeah. So okay. it's a blackhead remover, I'm guessing, right? No, it's not. It's an LED. Uh, yeah, it's one of those. Yeah, it's like one of those skin tightener. Oh, but then they have. 
other products. Oh, and it's well. laser hair removal. Look at that. Okay. Dude, this is the one-stop shop. <laughs> and a $99 oh, gift. Oh. It looked really good and the colors look really good. Guys, we have to stop with this with these pathetic offers to get my get the email. I don't understand. Hey, this is a phone email. number, buddy. Oh, they want a phone ah, number. It's a phone number. Um interesting. Yeah, so, yeah, so okay, so probably, for, can we give some constructive criticism on how to how to like get emails? Um, so let's start with Josh. Josh, how would how would you have done this to get people's emails instead? Like, what should they do? Yeah. Them? So first of all, I would have moved the text to the right because you've got an image on the left, right? But then because they're <laughs> kind of overlapping each other, it's kind of hard to read. Um, so I definitely move that. Um, and giving your phone number is not. I think it's a bit more. It's a lot harder to get people to give you a phone number just for ten dollars off. Um, definitely start with email on that one with a pop up. I mean, who wants to join a text marketing newsletter? Absolutely, yeah. everybody. I didn't think about that. Yeah, but definitely what he said about the text, like that's like unreadable, basically. Yeah, it's very hard to read. And again, really with the hospital color, why? <laughs> well, it's with the no, hospital. To be honest, I think this is like more like a pastel color. I think it looks pretty good. Nah, man, it looks like a shit. I think the pink and blue looks good. I like it. Whoa. Wait, yeah, what the fuck? Dude, this is like some, this literally, like, this would trick me into believing this is some next level brand. This website is nicely made. Yeah, they did, they did all right. They did pretty well this one. Oh, man, this looks amazing. Mm. Yeah, the reviews have to be made more believable, I think. Like, Laura, <laughs> Elena. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's because I'm in e-commerce, but <laughs> these, <laughs> at least put some pictures or something. I don't know. Okay, let's go to the sales page. Yeah, where is the sales, sales page? page? Oh, see, it's not immediately clear where the sales page is. Is it shot? Yeah, I don't know why yeah. contact us is before. Mm -hmm. Contact us should not be before how to use in our passion and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. let's, let's go to shop. I would very, okay. I said I was, I'd very much like to see only one product here, but for some reason there, there's two. Check out this discount. <laughs> um, okay, this is epic. All right, Lily. See, okay, one thing I wanted to say about the brand name is, this might just be my opinion, but try to make a brand name that you can actually say. I don't know how to say this. Like, Lee, 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 So, yeah, okay, so so the, this graphic- wait, wait, I, I also seen a lot of stores like this. Go back up to the title. I don't like this six in one beauty device. Yeah, me neither. I feel like that's a terrible name. Yo, that's straight from um, straight from the suppliers that these yeah, guys that's are straight from. Suppliers like which big company? Like this, this could be like a big brand. It looks really good, but then I read like six in one skin beauty device. Like, why can't it just be like I don't know, skin revitalizer? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Like something can really catch you. Six in one. It's like, and I, I feel like it makes it cheaper. Mm -hmm. Okay, we go down. Worry no more. <laughs> I don't know why she's there. Awesome <laughs> sold. <laughs> this is so early two thousands for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> like before, after, like the wrinkles stuff. Okay, here no one's gonna read this. Nobody is yeah, gonna read this. It's pretty hard to read. Uh, want to know the tech stuff? Nobody wants to know the tech stuff. People just want. What do people want? People want a result. Nobody wants to. Nobody cares about the technical stuff. But one thing that I've learned with. Um, with selling is you always want to sell based on emotion and then number two based on logic but the tech stuff definitely not on the tech stuff people only care about the result not about six in one led bright light this and that unless it's a very specific feature of the product would you guys agree yeah 100 well i mean like i think she's gonna go or he is gonna like talk about like what each of the lights do like click on the Look at the signature. Look at the signature. Look at the signature. It's like, I believe you will love Lily Six and One as much as I do. <laughs> what, who is this, <laughs> Laura? <laughs> the CEO. Okay, where do we Wait, go next? Is that on mobile? What is this going to look like on mobile? Yeah, I think that's a key oh. thing. Oh yeah, true. Oh, unlock ten percent for your order. I, I'm not yeah. a fan of all these things, like the the unlock, the spin a wheel. I hate that stuff. I think like it's just so. I think this. What do you think? Yeah, I think the student wheel is like so overdone, but like, I think this is like, why not just try? It's like pretty effective. Okay. Um, how do we, wait, how do we put it in the mobile? Oh yeah, inspect. No, 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 we have to change the, uh, I think, um, yeah, next to elements. Right to the right, to the right. Yeah. No, left, left, left. Yes. Yes, there we go. Cool. Um, 
I mean, like the sales page, you can tell they put in a lot of effort, but I think, okay, here's what I think the issue is. I think that a guy made this, you know? Yeah. I, I think a guy made Maybe. this, I, I might be wrong, but the problem, like usually when a guy tries to, tries to create a beauty brand, it doesn't work. Like, I mean, I've actually sold beauty products successfully in the past and it worked, but it was like, I think to anybody who was in the target market, they were like, yeah, this person definitely doesn't use the product. Six in one beauty yeah, device be. also is very general who like you have to precisely say, what does this actually do? Like there has to be a specific solution. There is no specific solution here. It's like a one-stop shop, but nobody wants a one-stop shop skin device. And especially not for 135 Canadian dollars or a hundred, I think, I guess it's a hundred US. Yeah. So they've even got like Afghan cards. I guess they had like global currency. All right. So what do you guys think of this store out of 10? I give it a five out of 10. What do you think, Josh? That's five Batista bombs, right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's five Batista bombs. So it's not that bad. Um, look, I think the graphics and look, it was a solid effort. I, I think they uh, definitely need to brush up and, and fix a few things, but um, yeah, it's maybe about, I'd say about four Batista bombs. Like, okay, so you think it's lower, yeah. it's worse than what I gave it? No, 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 no. I think it's less it, taste yeah, bombs, it, the better. Oh. Yeah, less the taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a little bit better. Um, okay, but on a 10, on out of 10, out of 10 rating. Uh, uh, out of 10 scale? Yeah. Probably a six. Matt? I, I'd say seven. I think it looks good, but like, I don't know. I'd have to read. I have to read if it, if it just looks good or if it's actual substance. And from like the first page looked pretty freaking good. Looked like a pretty professional website. All yeah. right. Well, there you go. The verdict is out. Whoever owns this store, if you're watching this, um, I think the branding just needs to be improved. And also this type of product, I would say, is on the products to avoid section. Would you agree? It's too yeah, gimmicky. Yeah, I'd say so. It's too gimmicky. It's hard to sell on Facebook as well. A lot of people getting banned about this one. Yeah. All right, guys. So the next store, let's just open up the tab. Gorgeouspants.com. Whoa. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, I love the peach Sexy leggy. <laughs> Sexy leggy. Sexy leggy 2020pm. Oh, this video just became PG-13. <laughs> you know, what okay. What I wonder is, okay, can someone explain to me why do people keep trying to sell leggings online as if Lululemon and the million other leggings brands, Gymshark, Alpha Leap, they haven't done it well enough, you know? Mm. I don't understand. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> The issue is this looks like mobile, but on desktop. <laughs> what a 10% off coupon. 97.8% satisfaction. Also, is the logo cut off? No, it's right here on the top No, left. look on the very left. Is that G cut off? No. Look at the G. See that like line going straight through on the very left? Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah, it's cut off. Uh, yeah, 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 it is, it is. How'd you notice that? Yeah, well, I don't know. I was looking at the logo. It looks like very pixely. Doesn't really look that high quality at all. Or am I wrong? Cause I'm looking at your screen, Dan. Is it good? Wow. Um, no, it's not pixely. It's just cut off on the left. I think that like, even I don't see a brand like that gorgeous pants being like any kind of competitor for like Lulu. I mean, obviously not. No way. No way. Like it just does not have. I don't see it being some like just gorgeous pants. I think they got a. Our goal is for our customers to be able to experience the feeling of wearing the coolest pants on the market. How are they the coolest though? Oh, uh, yeah. You really can't just back that up. These are claims, but there is no backing. Other than a woman just shaking your butt in a gif. And then like, look at the gorgeous pants on the sides of it. That yeah, like, that's so weird. It's just like low effort rip. Sexy leggy 20. This is definitely a man. This is definitely a man. Sexy leggy. Peach emoji. 2020 to your trademark. Yeah. All right, this is going to be a three, three out of 10. For, so three, trendy. Three out of 10 for me, seven Batista bombs. No, yeah, this is going to get 10 Batista bombs for me. I'm not going to lie. I think this is a perfect Batista bomb smackdown. 100%. Ecom smackdown. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, what do you guys think? Should the, should the owner move on on this one or? Yeah, 100%. This, this is not, yeah. no, you're selling, you're selling the most oversaturated product on the planet. If you're going to sell leggings, find um, something unique to sell. Maybe leggings that are like a new material. That's why Lululemon, I think, was so successful. I read the guy's book, uh, Chip mm. Wilson. He's actually Canadian represent so he said that he um he popularized leggings with like this new material and uh yeah and so that's why it was unique at the time and then mm. competition caught up so yeah definitely move on rover oh, whoa 
Why is it taking so long for the image to load? Or is there no image? Wait, is it like charging? <laughs> I think that's my... Uh, they have a phone number. Planetary. Do we call the phone number? No, 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 no. Actually, yeah, let's call it. It's a text only though. Where's the, oh, here's my oh, phone. Oh no, we're not texting this. Okay, go to shop, go to shop. We're not texting. Oh, I'm gonna call the phone, I'm gonna call the phone number. Hey, these don't look bad though. Yeah, they don't look bad actually. But like, what the hell is a solar panel powered watch? <laughs> Why would you want that? Buy a watch, plant a tree. Modernize watches powered by the sun. But the thing is, is okay, here's like, I think this is, here's a prime example of a business, someone starting a business, trying to solve a problem that never existed. Um, watches, like there is no problem with watch charge time. Watches don't run out of battery. Um, you know, like if you have a quartz watch. Quartz watch like never runs out of battery. Like it will like last forever. Exactly, so this is a problem that does not exist. You wanna tackle problems that exist. Um, even with leggings, I mean, the problem was women, well, men, women and men and everybody, right? They wanna look good when they're going to the gym and working out. So there's actually a problem there, I guess, but it was an oversaturated product. With this, it's just like, how does this even work? Let's go. It's not even how this, is, how this works. This does not tackle a problem. So- so look at those things. Oh, okay. So how I've, often are you walking around like this, though? Like, just think about it. If you're walking yeah. with your watch, you're like, your hands are down. I don't think you have to, because the the sun rays still go there, Matt. You don't have to walk around like this. Yeah, no, but it would be way less efficient. Yeah. Well, yeah. Regardless, like, I don't think. I think this is trying to like really play on people's gimmick on environmentalism. Yeah. Like, obviously, it's important. Yeah. Like, this is fully just catering to those people thinking, hey, we're going to plant a tree. Hey, we're putting solar panels on your watch. Buy from us and save the world. And the real question mm -hmm. is, is a tree really going to be planted? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's a big one. Would you ever start a Shopify store? Like, imagine the amount of work. I guess they might be done. Like, okay, let's maybe, let's let's give it a try. Let's, I don't want to like, uh, should talk the store without actually seeing... Like, no, I sh I'm sure you can just donate to somebody and like, we create like one service. Yeah, I think they just, we will have one tree plant. Yeah, so I guess they just donate. But the problem is here is it's, it's too desperate. You know, you have to remove desperation from business. People have a yeah, desperate attention. Look, it's literally hitting every one of these like vegan boxes. Vegan, powered by the sun, which is like not necessary at all. Plant a tree, cruelty free. Stockphotos.jpg. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm gonna Maybe give. They started with a good intention, but I think they're just trying to, like, literally cater to everything. You know, this started happening, and I'm not gonna say it was me, but this started happening when I made a video or a few videos in a row, like last year, suggesting that people, like, a good a good tactic is to actually donate a portion of your profits and display it on your site. Mm. And then I saw a flood of stores, like a flood of stores. People were selling stuff that had nothing to do with the environment. At least this has something to do with the environment. Mm. But this problem does not exist. No one's gonna buy the watch. End of story. That's my opinion. I give it a two out of 10. Yeah, this is also getting a KO for me, at like 10 Batista bombs. I think the watches look good. I think you can spin the way you sell it and you can probably get away with it. Because I think the watches are nice. Yeah, they are. They're really nice. But like, I don't think the solar panel thing should even be like a sale factor of it. Yeah, Josh, what do you think? Yeah, I think they did really well on the overall look of it. But yeah, yeah, it just doesn't make sense. Like for me, I, I love watches and I'd never buy a solar powered watch because, well, Why there's, no, yeah, it's, there's no need, right? I just, I just spin the, spin the dial and then it's charged. It's all good. Exactly. But like, <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. So what do you think if, if you were the person abandon or improve? No, I think a rebrand. Yeah. I think rebrand. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Just change the messaging. You, you should be okay. I see how they played on movement because MVMT, it's like R O V R. Mm, I mean, it's a, yeah. it's, a good, it's a good brand name. It's a good, um, because it represents like Rover, like you're moving, you know, Rover moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not bad, but again, the problem that, that they're trying to solve did not exist in the first place. Don't start a business solving a non existent problem. Or else yeah. you're not going to get any sales. Next. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so autumn, like right away to generic Shopify.exe. Um, yeah. Vacuum yeah. Pro blackhead remover. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I I don't know how many people can do this product. What, but what what's with what's with the blackhead removers? I don't get it. I think we need to have like like a tablet and we chisel on these products onto it. 
because these products need to be, it has to be like a commandment. Like you do not do, thou shall not sell blackhead remover bag. <laughs> this product for some reason always sells on Amazon. That's what blows my mind. Like people just buy it like crazy. I don't understand. Yeah, this is, this is Shopify store that's selling like, um, I think they're selling like 10,000 units. They're doing crazy volume. Yeah, so, okay, here are my tips. Um, first of all, the brand name has nothing to do with, okay, wait, unless it does. Glamorous Glowing Golden. Okay, I had to actually like, I had to like, zoom in. I had to zoom, I had yeah. to like search for that, the meaning of the brand. So when you name your brand, make sure that like the name actually has something to do with the product, unless it's like, for example, uh, Louis Vuitton has nothing to do with the bags. It's just a name that works for luxury goods. You have to look at your market, but like this, in, in this case as well, there is no logo on the product that I get it because they're just drop shipping. So they're just starting out. But the issue is it's just poor. Like it's just, I, I really enjoy the picture, but it has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> the picture was just taken straight. The issue here I think is that people try to design the store using generic Shopify theme, like Brooklyn or whatever. And uh, what, what, what theme is this actually? Let's check. I think it's debut. Um, yeah, debut, you're right. Yeah, so it's debut, copy of debut. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so the, I think the issue is that people just, there's only so much you can do with like st stock Shopify theme. So it's, I can tell they just uploaded the pictures, they filled in the text and that's it. There's nothing else that was done in the store. This is I'm probably import, import 10, 10 reviews, which is the limit of the free trial on Ali, oh, Ali reviews. Uh, oh, is this Ali reviews or Luke's? It's one of them. Okay. So, so with the store, honestly, bad product to begin with. There's nothing you can do to improve it. Uh, that's, that's my verdict. I would say, I mean, I can't give this a rating, like three out of 10. Yeah. I can't give it a rating either. Yeah. I can't give it a rating. I think like the, the branding, everything is just so off. It just doesn't really make much sense. Mm. Can we get one good store? Let's try to get one good store. Josh, what do you think? Yeah, hey, man. Love that Photoshop festival <laughs> on my, on my desk. Um, is, is it floating? <laughs> is it floating? Yeah, I don't know, man. Um, yeah, look, they, they've, they've really done a like no effort kind of job on this. But also the product so, yeah. itself is, look at the packaging. Yeah. It's horrendous. Yeah, I don't know why yeah, you don't advertise those pictures. Mm -hmm. Multifunctional cleaning instrument. <laughs> it sounds like you're about to go in for surgery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, so if you're, if you're running the store, you start with a bad product, an oversaturated product, and you should just abandon mm -hmm. the store. We're literally yeah. filling the internet with the graveyard of domain names. All right, which one should we do? Fold it, hold it, spill it? Yeah, see, I knew it. <laughs> oh, God. I, I, oh, knew, no. I knew it. Oh, no, I no. This is, this is genuinely unacceptable. <laughs> you cannot oh, man. Like, this thing is just closed down right now. The English level as well. You can now eat snack with your friends, mom and dad, in the most comfortable way. <laughs> oh, my God. I just don't get it. What is the logo? Can we just appreciate that logo for a sec? Have you guys, you guys Jesus? I didn't even know. Why would you do this? Go up and look at the logo. Your Please. iPhone, your iPhone is gonna be filled with like greasy, greasy and sh Okay, logo. Fold it, hold it, spill uh. it, touch it, grill it. <laughs> <laughs> Free shipping worldwide. Okay. Go to the sales page. What I don't understand, here's one thing I do not understand. Why can't people capitalize properly? I don't get it. Mm -hmm. Matt suffers from this as well. I'm sorry, Matt. Um, but track your order. Why is this not capital? I mean, you can, you can, you see it, right? When you press save, you see it's not capitalized. Like, why don't you go and fix it, right? Mm -hmm. I, that might be just me, like OCD or something. I don't know. But no, 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 that as well. That's bad. That as well. Yeah. Okay, so this is straight from AliExpress. This is literally made in probably 30 minutes. Yo, look, 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 look. My absolute favorite part is shape round. Yeah, so that's it. <laughs> shape round. And customer support. Um, oh, okay. We are here to answer all your questions. Free worldwide shipping. If you're not satisfied, simply email full it, hold it, spill it. Um, satisfaction of customers, 110%. Please that's allow bad. four to seven and a half weeks for the product to arrive at your doorstep. Nice. That's, that's like, long... you, just, you just canceled the only sale you were ever going to get. <laughs> no, no, no. I think, I think actually charging 20 euros for this product is canceling the only sale you're going to get. Like, this is like a chachki at like Ikea that you pay like literally $2 for before you get into the cash register. <laughs> like in the cash register aisle at the end? Yeah. 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 
I don't think you can get away with charging nineteen ninety nine for this. Like somebody looks at this because like, bro, you can literally take a styrofoam cup and spit your CMHK. I mean, you're just kind of flat. What about About Us? Do they have a story? In Denmark? Whoa. Just because we're based in Denmark, that doesn't mean you can't order from us. It is our mission to remove the boundaries and open up the world for the best snack storage boxes so everyone can enjoy snacks with a close family member. And what's with the customers? <laughs> Look, if you can't spell, or if you have, you know, your English is not the best, that's fine. But use a spell checker. Use Google Translate or something, because they'll tell you, right? I'm pretty sure they'll tell you. Um, yeah, yeah, this is a zero. This is straight up a zero. Yeah, right? yeah, straight up. No, this is a zero, and like I think I'm gonna go to 50 Batista bombs RKO, and. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> 50 yeah. Batista bombs next. Uh, photos pixelated. Oh no. No. Okay. Yeah. I mean. So by the way, guys, uh, when you're doing your store, when you're creating your store. Make sure that you are running your store through, what's that thing called? Google Page Site Loader? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you go on Google, Google Site Rank or something like that. No, it's not Site Rank, it's Google Page Speed Test. Yeah. Page Speed Insights. Yeah, it's this right here. Okay, and then you just take, okay, so you take that, you put it here, analyze. Okay, this is definitely gonna get like a one out of 100. This tool will tell you, it's gonna give you a score based on how fast your website actually loads. And yeah, so 34, that's obviously in the yeah. red zone. But even even my site, Econ Freedom, is like in the red zone. So to be honest with you, it's not that telling. So my point is, is that the reason I'm talking about this is if we go back to the store here, uh, this picture, oh, I, have, I have a fast internet connection, but on you can't assume that everybody has a fast internet connection and the, the picture might not load, like it's gonna just be stuck in pixelation. As soon as someone sees a pixelated photo, they're just gonna leave, perceived value. I also don't think that picture is gonna look good on mobile. Can you check mobile? Like I have just a feeling that's not gonna look good on mobile. Yeah. Oh, okay, no, it resized well, all right. Resized well, it actually looks a lot better on mobile. The logo's yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, it looks better. All right, so yeah, what it is- Yeah, looks really good on mobile, actually. <laughs> okay, so the product, if we scroll down, we have two things, calcium, clay, and face mask, mask mixing kit. This is not bad. If we go to collection. Wait, so I don't think this is, is this drop shipped or is this like locally sourced kind of like somebody who actually just wants to make her own makeup? Yeah. Wait, is it? I don't know. Let's zoom in. Healing clay. No, so is it probably face clay from China. Well, I don't know actually. Made in oh, USA. Made in USA. Mm. This is actually a pretty good, that's probably the person. <laughs> Yeah, it could be. Oh wow, the, the the box looks amazing. If that's the box, yeah, the packaging's good. No, the, the gift is pretty good. The brand yeah, yeah, the like, whole go thing. Go back up, then. Go back up. Wait, wait. Look how she starts. Look at that. Look at that box. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, this is actually really. This is much better than significantly better. You know than what? Else. I think you should check the Instagram page for this site. Uh, Lebel. I feel like they would have a good Instagram. They could be doing really well organic, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, Instagram, I'm not sure where. I think if this person is watching and they don't have an Instagram page, I think they're really playing themselves. Yeah, and also, yeah, you make, where's this, where are the social media links? Like, you know, put them put them in a easy to see place. Um, the thing is with this product is the easiest way to judge whether the product's actually good or not, because I feel like it could be good, would be to go on Amazon and type in the product. So. No, man, I know this product. Is it good? Yeah, my mom and my sister use it. Really? Yeah, but I think it's called like Aztec Clay. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've yeah, seen yeah, this yeah. before. Mm -hmm. It makes a killer amount of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it's, it's actually a good play for Shopify. Um, $12.90 though. How much, how much is this person selling it for? <laughs> selling it for $20.95. I want oh, they get the bowl and stuff. It comes with the kit. Yeah, yeah, they get the bowl and everything. It's a pretty good I think attempt. Good. Everything looks nice. You know what they need? Yeah. This vertical stuff, though. This, this, like, see on desktop. Why is it vertical like this? Right? It just needs to be fixed. Wait, what do you mean vertical? Like, so why does it just um like the that? It's that just like this. It's just like yeah, this. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I get, yeah. I get you. I get you. Yeah. yeah. Let's see how it looks on mobile. Yeah, oh, I think that right. mobile will look really good. Yeah, I think so as well. They probably designed it for mobile, that's why. Mm. Actually, most e-commerce traffic, over 60% is mobile. 
No, no. So this yeah. is Brooklyn. And you know, Brooklyn actually, because I was actually talking to my coder today and we were actually struggling with this problem because it automatically resizes like that. Oh. Um. Mm. It's really weird on, on Brooklyn. I think this is Brooklyn. One thing that I could also recommend in the future, obviously you already created your brand name, but you see how Aztec Clay, like personally, I think Aztec Clay is a much better brand name. Wait, is the brand LaBelle Organics or Organic Beauty? Oh wait, yeah. Yeah, see that's really confusing. I didn't even notice that, yeah, that's weird. It should be, yeah, yeah, that logo, um, it definitely needs to change back to your LaBelle Organics. Because I think on the packaging, it has label organics. You know what I feel like happened here? I feel like this the person didn't actually make this product. Like, I feel like they found organic beauty already this way from the supplier. Mm. Could be. I'm not saying that's the fact. That's fact, but could be. And they could made be, this yeah. domain and they were going to do label, but then they were like, oh, wait, <laughs> I can't get my logo on this. So one way to get your logo on a product when you're in the dropshipping phase, this they're probably not dropshipping. It says it's made in the U.S., but the best way to get your logo is to get a product insert. And I talk about this a lot, but basically you just get like, you ask your supplier, you print out a little piece of paper, you get them to do that, you make a design, you put your logo on there. And at least when your product comes, if it doesn't have a logo, at least it has the card. You guys agree? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And also I wanted to say about the brand name, like for example, the Aztec, this Aztec uh, secret, <laughs> Aztec secret. See, it's a much, like, it actually relates, it, it creates, like, this mysterious aura around the healing clay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. and, and, like, it's so much more powerful than, like, LaBelle generic organic .exe JPEG. You know? It's, like, Aztec secret. World's most powerful uh, mm -hmm. bentonite clay. So people, when they see it, they're like, whoa. You know? Like, I want this. Uh, this is, like, a secret from under Chichen Itza. <laughs> <laughs> You know, there's a Chichen Itza on the thing. <laughs> so, have you been to Chichen Itza? Pretty cool place. <laughs> I've been there. I haven't been. I've never been to Mexico, actually. Yeah, it's, you should go. Pretty cool place. All right, so you know what? Honestly, um, yeah, just the confusion between the LaBelle and Organic Beauty. Otherwise, this is a pretty This is pretty good. Um, pretty decent, I, yeah. I wonder what the ads are like. Should we go look at the ads? Yeah, let's go check out the ads. Cool. Yeah, let's check it out. Well, which one do we do, Organic Beauty or LaBelle Organic? So like, yeah, see, that's going to be hard. And, and they don't have a link to the, um, the, the Facebook, Facebook page. page. Yeah, exactly. Very good question. All right, let's go. Yeah, there it is. No ads. No ads. That's the Instagram. Can you even tell if that's actually her or it? Yeah, that's, that's not her. Not. That's not her. Or was this the branding before and did she just rebrand or he? Well, if you look at the email, LaBelleOrganics at gmail.com, let's go back to the... Let's go back to the page and check. All right, so we scroll down to the person's email and it's legitimately the person's email and we're hiding it because of that. And also it looks like it's the person's address as well. Uh, or there's like an, a random LLC address. So, you know, if you're serious about starting a successful e-commerce brand, make a domain specific email, like a professional email. You can do that with G Suite. The minimum you can do is Gmail, at least make it store specific. In this case, it's literally the guy's name. Uh, maybe he just didn't see it. Maybe he just put that in the Shopify account. That's why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's what happened. So, yeah, I mean, it looks okay design-wise. This is for sure empty. Um, this, you know, it needs to have the product displayed. Like, boom. You know? Yeah. It'd be so for easy sure. to make an amazing site for that Aztec uh, healing clay. It kind of reminds me of, like, Bulletproof. I think she can, like, the, I don't know why. The branding kind of reminds me of Bulletproof. Let's search up this Aztec secret. Let's go on their, um, oh, they only sell on Amazon. No way. And they're in Walmart. Yeah, they, oh, wait, there you go. Aztec secret. <laughs> the site's actually terrible. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> wow. I'm shocked. I mean, that just goes to show I think product wins everything. Article yeah. from Vogue. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Vogue, it's Vogue. <laughs> oh, God. It's Nevada company, of course. Uh, <laughs> so, I mean, I give this like a, like a, Six out of ten, but there's still a lot of stuff to do, and that's a very high. Mm. That's a that's a generous rating, Josh. What do you think? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think six is is pretty fair. Um, the product page is pretty decent, um, like in terms of the gifts and everything. But yeah, the, the branding, the logo, it's all it's all kind of all over the place. Matt, so, yeah, six. Matt, we yeah, can't see I'm you anymore. <laughs> You're gone. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with the six though. Six out of ten. All right. So, mm -hmm. what should the, what should the, the person do? Should they abandon or keep going? 
No, I think they could. I think I think it's like going to be like two and a half hours of work to just maybe like make everything congruent and then like really start pushing it on Instagram because it's, mm. it's like they have like good giphy videos that I think have like chance to go pretty viral. Like girls like this stuff. Yeah, like chuck it on TikTok as well right now. Yeah, That'd be awesome. TikTok. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Like tons of potential here. Yeah, sure. All right, guys, that brings us to the end of the very first Decom Smackdown. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want us. So review your store. Hopefully next week, we're going to broadcast this on Mondays. Hopefully for the next episode, we're going to find some better stores. There's always going to be, you know, there's always going to be bad stores, but that's okay. It's a learning process. You know, if you, if you're watching this right now and your store, we kind of, uh, shat on it, <laughs> you know, <laughs> please don't take it personally. Um, what do you guys have to say about that? I mean, yeah, look, it's, it's a learning process. No, no one starts off with a beautiful store just off the first bath, so yeah. um, don't, yeah, don't take it to heart. If you saw my first store, you know... Countdown uh, time or pop-ups. Count, countdown time or spin a wheel. Uh, be, back then it was Be The King. Be The King sales pop. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, with, with the fake scarcity, it was like the nine out of... Shake button. Shake button. Wait, what was the shake, shake button? Shake button. The shake button. Yeah, you just shakes. <laughs> oh, yeah. This increases your sales by 20%. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, look, if we um, looked at your store and we reviewed it, uh, you got on the show, look, uh, follow the advice that we said, and uh, maybe you can resubmit the store. You know, maybe we mm. can get some someone to actually, we can interview someone to come on the store and they're like, hey guys, like, you know, last week you talked shit about my store, but now look, it's amazing. I'm making sales. So yeah, another chance in the ring. Exactly. Another yeah, chance okay. in the ring. <laughs> comes back then. So thank you guys for watching. Look, if you want to submit your store, uh, we get a ton of stores for this particular first episode. I think we got like a hundred uh, submissions. So yeah. if you want to submit your store, there's going to be a link down below. Like if you have a store, do it right now or else you're going to forget about it. Submit your store, subscribe to the channel. Thank you, Josh. Thank you, Matt. See you guys next week. Goodbye. Peace. Yeah.